Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see what are the key factors in material selection for static equipment. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now, if either client or client designated agents, if they are doing the selection of material, what are the factors involved? Can you point out some factors which may influence the selection of material? Either if metallurgy engineer is doing or material engineer is doing or client designated agent is doing. So Shiva is saying liquid, surface, pressure, corrosivity of fluid, temperature, fluid, most of you are absolutely on the point so we have temperature we know that temperature influences a lot okay just now we discussed that type of fluid which we are going to store that is also having lots of influence how the material behave with that particular material that is you know, always dependent upon the fluid so, what is the corrosion resistant of the material when we compare that with the fluid or the environment? Okay, the temperature all will combinedly influence the corrosion rate, right? So, either if my material is getting corroded, I'll have to provide a corrosion allowance if the rate is very, very low and it can like 3 or 4 or 5 mm corrosion allowance is sufficient for 10 to 20 years of service life, which we intend. Okay. Then it is okay. Otherwise, if it is uh, creating pitting, okay, very abnormal corrosion rates, which is difficult to predict, creating embrittlement, those kind of things, then we'll have to select a suitable material which is not influenced by the service. Okay. So, someone talked about pressure also, right? So, strength of material is also very, very much required, right? Strength of material, because if you have to capture the pressure, the pressure vessel intention itself is to capture the pressure, you know, contain the pressure which is created. So, strength is required. Cost of material, it should be economical, right? Otherwise, we will not be able to use that in fabrication if it is too much costly. Okay. It may be very good with corrosion resistant, it may be having good strength, but if cost is very high, it's not a good selection, right? Then, last ease of fabrication. See, finally, we are going to fabricate pressure vessel component with that material. So ease of fabrication means we should be able to form it, we should be able to weld it. Okay. So if all these four, if we can control, we can adjust, we can manipulate, then we can select a proper material for that service. Right? Do you guys agree? Anything else apart from this four, which may influence, okay, like pressure, fluid, all we have combined in this, okay. I hope you understood this part. Stay tuned with us. Do watch our other videos related to the material.